everyone, it's Miss Kim from the Brantford Public Library and welcome to Virtual Storytime. Today I'm at Brantwood Farms in Brantford and this is the perfect time of year you could come here to pick apples and get your pumpkins ready for Halloween. Can you see anybody behind me that you know? It's Rags! He's climbing the tree to help pick some apples. But don't worry, he's very safe. So today, we're going to talk about some apples. Did you know that in Canada, where we live, there is over 100 kinds of different apples? Isn't that crazy? I have a few here. Let's see if you can help me with them. What color is this one? It's kind of a yellowy green, and this is called a Golden Delicious. What color is this one? That's a green one. It's called Granny Smith. And I have a red one called Red Delicious. There's a puppy dog. Can you hear him? He lives here on Brantwood Farms and he walks around the farm all day. So you might hear him barking today. All right. So we're going to have a fun story today. We're going to play a little game, do a little rhyme. So let's get started. Let's see if you can guess the letter of the day. Arrow, acorns, alligator, Ambulance. Are you ready for today's book? Of course, it's about apples. It's called Hungry Bunny. It's written and illustrated by Claudia Ruda, and we're reading with permission from Chronicle Books today. Here I come. Can you hear my tummy rumble? I'm one hungry bunny. It's time for a red, delicious, and hard to reach apple. Oh no. Maybe you could help. Could you please shake the book so that the apples fall down? Everybody at home, shake, shake, shake. Let's all shake together. <gasps> oh, what happened? No, not the leaves. Could you blow them away? Ready, everybody? <gasps> oh, that's much better. Thank you. Oh, no. My scarf has blown away too. It's stuck in the book and I'm still hungry. Could you help me grab my scarf? <gasps> Do you think we could help him? Could you place my scarf here for me to hold it tight? I can use it to climb the tree and pick those tasty apples. <gasps> Watch this. This book comes with his scarf. Let's put it on the line. Look, he can climb up his scarf now and get the apples, just like Rags. Just one more. How many apples do you see on that page? One, two. Good job. Great teamwork. I got them all. Can you hang on to that scarf for me? <gasps> Whoops, I'm running late. What an uphill battle. That must be very heavy to pull all those apples up a big hill. Wait a minute, why am I going uphill? We can fix that. Can you tilt the book for me? Do you know what tilt means? It means to turn the book sideways. <gasps> so now he's going to go downhill. Whee! Easy as pie. Now my wheels are turning. <laughs> 
why don't we have even more fun? Would you rock the book back and forth? All right, I'm gonna rock. Ready, and you rock back and forth too. Oh, what's that going to do? Zowie, keep going. It's making him jump over the hills and get ready to turn. Ooh, can you turn in a circle? Turn. Oh my goodness. Uh-oh, get ready to tumble. What happened to all the apples? Let's count these ones together. You do it with me. One, two, three, four, five, six apples. Oops, I guess I upset the apple cart. Where are all the apples? Do you see any apples? Me neither. Here they are. I'll just pick these up. On the road again. Oh, but what's this? Uh-oh. How do you think he's going to get across? That's a big jump. Hey, I think I'm going to need some help. Can you use my scarf to make a bridge? Let's get his scarf out. Ready? Pull it down, we're gonna follow the line. And look, we're gonna make a little bridge across. <gasps> Do you think that will work? Let's see. Perfect, thank you. I'm at the end of my rope. Good thing I'm almost home. Look, this looks like his home here, a little hole that he lives in. Um, I'm stuck. Would you give me a little push, please? Ready, push your, put your hands out and let's push him in. Push, push, push. Oh, pop! He popped right into his hole. Right on time for Mum's apple pie. Not a bad apple in the bunch. Yum! Oh, we saved a piece for you. Can you pretend to eat it? I love apple pie. That was a funny book. This is called an interactive book where you get to do things and move things and parents and caregivers, interactive books are great because they make, uh, they help your child really engage with the book and enjoy reading. And when they're moving all those tabs and moving things in the book, it's actually helping with their fine motor skills, which they need later to hold a pencil and to hold scissors and things like that. What a great story. Do you know the song way up high in the apple tree? Let's do it together and I'll show you the actions. Ready? First, we're going to be an apple tree. Way up high in the apple tree, two red apples smiled at me. I shook that tree as hard as I could. Down they came and mm, they were good. Thanks for the apples. Yum, yum. Shall we do it one more time? Ready? Stretch up high as far as you can. Way up high in the apple tree, two red apples smiled at me. I shook the tree as hard as I could. Down they came and mm, they were good. Thanks for the apples. Yum, yum. Great job. Now we have a fun flannel to do with apples, of course, and you get to pretend to be Mr. Slinky Worm. Can you make a worm with your fingers? All right, here we go. Let's count our apples first. One, two, three, four, seven. Oh, is that right? No, no, no. Let's try again. One, two, three, four, five. That's right. Five little apples hanging in a tree. Teasing Mr. Slinky Worm, you can't eat me. Along comes Mr. Slinky Worm, as quiet as can be, and crunched that apple right out of the tree. How many are left? Four red apples 
hanging in the tree, teasing Mr. Slinky Worm, you can't eat me. Along came Mr. Slinky Worm, as quiet as can be. And ready, can you crunch? Crunch that apple right out of the tree. How many are left? Three. Three red apples hanging in the tree, teasing Mr. Slinky Worm, you can't eat me. Along came Mr. Slinky Worm, as quiet as can be, and crunched that apple right out of the tree. Two red apples hanging in the tree, teasing Mr. Slinky Worm, you can't eat me. Along came Mr. Slinky Worm, as quiet as can be. And what did he do? He crunched that apple right out of the tree. How many are left? Just one. One red apple hanging in the tree. Along came Mr. Slinky Worm, or teasing Mr. Slinky Worm. You can't eat me. Along came Mr. Slinky Worm, as quiet as can be, and <gasps> crunched that apple right out of the tree. Do you know any animals that eat apples? Yeah, I bet you've seen some horses eat apples, and even dogs. The dog that lives on Brantwood Farm has been beside me over here eating apples the whole time. But I bet you didn't know some other animals that eat apples like panda bears, pigs, and monkeys. Isn't that interesting? Today we're going to do a game where I'm going to yell out an animal and you have to make the sound as loud as you can. Do you think you can do that? All right, here's the first one. Ready? Cow! Moo! Did you do it? Okay, here's the next one. Pig. Good job. Ready? Next one. Here's a tricky one. Horse. Nay! Nay! Good job. Okay, here's an easy one. Are you ready? Dog. Good job. Okay, last one. Are you ready? Okay, it's a cat. Meow! Meow! Great job! That's a fun game to play at home with mum or dad or whoever's at home. You could yell out an animal and they could try and do the sound with you. We've come to the end of our virtual story time and Rags and I are so excited to learn more about apples. Learning about apples at home is great for children because they already know a lot about it. And so they come to learning with lots of background knowledge and they're ready to learn more and make new connections and they're much more confident about what they're learning about. So go to the grocery store and pick a different apple and cut it up and see how it tastes compared to other ones. Cut up apples and make little structures with toothpicks. There's so many fun things to do with apples and of course, to cook with them and eat them. And come down to Brantwood Farms where you can pick apples, you can pick your pumpkins, and on the weekend, they have a fall festival with tons of fun things to do for your family. I think Rags and I might come on the weekend too. So thanks for joining us today for another virtual story time about apples. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel where we still have story times and STEM activities and lots of activities to, to watch. And don't forget to check out brantfordlibrary.ca, our website, to see what's coming up in the next couple months. Bye everybody! Happy apple picking!